In this tutorial, what I'm going to show you is um, just give you an introduction to Photoshop CS3, and I'm going to give walk you through the layout a little bit, and we're going to introduce the very most basic tool, which is this top black arrow here called the Move Tool. Sometimes I'll refer to it also as the Primary Selection Tool. Uh, but at the top here we have our title bar. You can see the name of the file here. That will come in handy in Photoshop when you have multiple files open. We have our, our menus right up here. All these words are menus. Some of the menus that you'll use more often, File, Edit, Image, uh, probably followed by Layer, Select, and Filter. Below that, down here, we have all of our options. This is called the Options panel. And those options will change depending on what tool we're using you have selected. Along here, this is the toolbox. It holds all of our tools. This is our, our canvas or our work area. These are all of our panels. And if you click on one of the buttons, you can see the panels. Really, as a beginner, the one panel that you're only going to need to know about right now is this history panel. This way, you can go back um, if, if you make an error, you can go back. So I like to leave that open. Um, and then the other panel that you'll, you'll want to get to know is this layers panel. Layers are absolutely essential to know how to use in Photoshop. The layer will have a name, it'll have a thumbnail, giving a, a little picture of what's on that layer. You can lock it. By default, any background layers will be locked when you first start a, a file, a Photoshop file. And then you can also hide the layer. Right now, I can't hide it because it's locked. Um, the other part that some people have some issues with is is working with multiple files. We need to use this restore down box and if you had more than one picture it would be showing up. Uh, you can minimize things and they'll be located down in the left and they'll just stack up as as you have files down there. But that's how you, how you do that. So really when you're first starting I I suggest that you do two steps, especially when working with photographs. First thing, go to the image menu, duplicate your image. Uh, you can rename it if you want it or keep it the same. Uh, this way you don't make changes to the original photograph. If that photograph got deleted off the camera's memory card or got removed, you know, we, we never want to to go over the original. So if we make mistakes, especially if you're watching this, you're a beginner, um, that way that original image doesn't get destroyed and we can always go back to it. Now as I said up in the title bar, you'll be using this. See it says Irish Castle Copy now. I'm going to just restore down and we can see my two windows, Irish Castle, Irish Castle Copy. I can minimize that. It'll be down here. A couple of the quick navigation tools. If you press the letter Z on your keyboard and drag a box, you can zoom in. Control and the number zero will put you at full screen. So again, the first step was to do image duplicate. Second thing that I like to do is make sure my, my history panel is open. It gave me a step here as far as what I need to do or what I've done. Um, and then the third thing, I like to unlock this background, give it the name. This way it's unlocked and I can, I can manipulate it and make um, some changes to it if I wanted. I, sh I can uh, hide it now. These white and gray checkers um, equal transparency. So anytime you see this, it means that there's nothing there. So let's go to this move tool. You can resize objects, images. 
You can also, if you go up by the corner, rotate them. Now, a common, <clears throat> when, when uh, you're ready to accept it, go ahead and click Apply. You always, anytime you resize or rotate, you're going to have to do that. Um, it's, it's a safety precaution that Photoshop has built in, so that way you don't accidentally do something you don't want to. A common setting that a lot of people have when, they, when they're first starting Photoshop is they do not have the Show Transform Controls box checked off. So we want, and look, I can't see my, my anchor points or my transform controls. So we have to make sure that that's checked on so that way we can, we can move our image. We can also just double click it to accept instead of having to go back up to the arrow and click apply. Over in our history panel we can see all the steps that I've done. If I wanted to go back to this beginning I can just click that way. It shows the previous steps, they're grayed out but let's just say I did something else I will lose those steps, I can't go back to them. Um, when resizing, make sure you hold down shift especially when working with images this will keep them proportional. The other quick little key that we can do if you're rotating an image, let's say you wanted this in a different orientation, you can also hold down shift to lock it so that way it will be leveled. Double click to accept. We have our transparency in the background. If I wanted to get rid of that, I can go up to the image menu, trim, accept the default settings, click OK. And there you go. There's a quick introduction to Photoshop.